You're part of Big Boy, Big Boy TV. Sitting here with uh, Dana White, as we like to call him, uh, Mr. Money. We don't call him Mr. Money. I was just making that shit up. We, we call him Dana White. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Owner of the UFC, man. We had a chance to uh, sit down and talk today. But what I want to do with you right now, Dana, is I want to do a thing which you call Give Me Five. I'm going to ask you five questions. I want you to answer these as truthfully as you can. Okay. Okay? Okay. And when I say truthfully as you can... <clears throat> that means they're going to be bad questions. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just believe it. Are you a Coke or Pepsi man? Uh, okay, neither. that's not really one of the neither. questions. Neither. I don't yeah. drink either. Dana, have you ever been uh, threatened by a fighter? Like a fighter that said, you know what, <coughs> I want to beat your ass. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about it. There's, there's been many. Uh... One time I was in a negotiation on over a contract, and, and one of the fighters said, well, how about if I just come down there and beat your fucking ass? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to help you in the negotiation. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I'm right. definitely not going to get you uh, any more money. Yeah, it's definitely hard to negotiate from prison for a <laughs> So, you know what I'm saying? Do we know that fighter? Um, well, there's been a couple. Like, oh, okay. Baroni did once. Uh, the, the, guy, the fighter is actually, this guy was a fighter, and now he's a, a manager. It was Matt Hume. And he said, I'll come down there and beat now your ass. How about ass? I come down there and beat your fucking ass? Did you tell him come with it? <laughs> I said, hey. No, this is literally what I said. I said, well, it's definitely not going to get you any more money. Right, right. <laughs> right, right, right. Not, you know, right. it's not as good a negotiating tactic as you think it is. Right, so so I guess, uh, is he out the UFC now? No, no, he's still around. Okay. You know, listen, the thing is, with the, I'm in the fight business, man. I'm not in the nice business. Right, I right. deal with 500 of the baddest dudes in the world and, you know, their managers who are sometimes... Ex fighters and stuff like that. That stuff happens, you know. Guys get heated and offer to beat some asses sometimes. For any reason, while you're sitting there in the octagon or at a press conference or whatever, has there been a fighter that you looked at and you was like, "Man, I hope he gets fucked up tonight," or "I hope when that fight happens that he get his ass beat." There's no doubt about it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> really? No, no doubt about it. No <laughs> doubt about it. Have you ever told, told someone if you knock? I don't know as a as an owner. Can you say, hey, if you knock him out, there's a bonus? I can tell you this. Tito Ortiz is that guy that you wanted to see get knocked that out. That has ass whooped, and uh, the only time in 13 years, all the fights we've ever done, um, Lyoto Machida beat Tito Ortiz. Uh huh. I actually wrote him a personal check, like a thank like, you. Like, the UFC, we will pay him his show money, his win money, and the, and if he does, if he wins one of the bonuses of the night, he gets bonus. I literally bonused him myself. Jesus Christ. Now, is there money in the UFC? Like, is do you money? have to be a top-tier fighter? You know how cats that come in and they have, like, 89 sponsors on their shorts. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, Winchell's Donuts, what? Michael's Crab Shack, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, shit written in Sharpie. Those yes. are the, you know, yeah. is there money for a fighter in the UFC? Yeah, so we, uh, you know, the, we're a private company, mm -hmm. so we really don't put out the numbers. And, and one of the things that I well, like... Well, I'm not a private company, so tell well, me. No, Write it down, no, but and then One I'll of the things it. that I like is, if you think about, think about professional sports and these guys that sign these huge contracts, and it's all anybody talks about is the money. And Big Boy, you, you play it down, but... You, you got some money. Okay? Hilarious. This dude you, is fucking you, hilarious. You got some money. This and, dude. And you All right, well, this interview no, 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 is over. Wait, wait, wait. Did you see this, right? Y'all see this? He's choking me out. Louie! You, you know. Right, I'm going to set off. You the know what it's right like. And, 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 and you know what it's like with family members and everybody. Oh, my God. It, it, it never ends. Don't tell yeah. me that you've never dealt with that in your oh lifetime. My God. Every cousin you've ever had, every. The, Come on, big boy. I got this new thing and I need this and I need that. And, and we, imagine if, if, uh, if you're. How much money you made. Was out there every day in the media. Right. So, so we we don't do that. The fighters make a lot of money. I mean, I told you the other day, Lorenzo Fertitta is on the Forbes list. We walked into Anderson Silva's house and we were like, "Holy shit!" You know, I'm on that Forbes list. Wow. I write you my name in every year. <laughs> you I'm not really are. in it, but I write my name are. in. Probably are. <laughs> what regular jobs? This radio Dana? show is no joke. Right. You, I'm okay. sure you. Well, there you're doing it is, okay. yeah, brother. Yeah, I'm I'm doing all right, man. Yeah. The lights are on. Yeah, you know, yeah. not all of them. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but some of them are. <laughs> what regular jobs has Dana White, the owner of the UFC, had? The last real job I had was when I was 19 years old. Damn. And that's when I got into the fight business. But I did it all, man. I, I did construction. I was a bellman at, at, at a hotel. Um, I valet parked cars. Did um, you ever steal out someone's car? Did I ever what? Steal anything out of someone's car? Never stole anything out of somebody's okay, car. Okay. I never did. 
Right. What um, about now when you go to see someone they open up a door? Now I steal them? stuff out of people's cars. Yes, all you the should. Time. Because you know why? They don't think you will. <laughs> exactly. You, some shit come up uh, missing, the, you'll be the last one. It's the guys you don't expect. Like, you can fuck around and steal something, I'll blame it on Luke. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like this absolute like I went to the store, right? And I was buying my wife a MacBook Pro or one of the computers. And so I gave girl, old girl my credit card and I saw that their policy was you needed ID. And she, when I went to go hand her my ID, she said, I know who you are. And I was thinking, I was like, man, I could tear this whole motherfucking store up with fraudulent shit because they don't think I will. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can come back in here and just run through everything up in here, okay. man. All righty, now, let me ask you this. Boxing and UFC. Mm -hmm. If Floyd Mayweather and Anthony Pettis, if they were to fight this weekend, who do you think would win? What are they fighting? Are they boxing or are they doing... Just if, goes. If, if, if they anything just fought, goes, Floyd May, I mean, uh, uh, Pettis would kill him. Really? Kill him. It would be ugly. Really? It would be a lopsided, one-sided. Any one -sided. belt holder that's in boxing and any belt holder that's in UFC, do you think that an MMA fighter will win every time? Every time. I mean, a, a, every boxer has that, that puncher's chance to land a big punch. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. The, here, and here's the thing. It's like, it's like going to a gunfight, right? And you got, it's actually, it's, this is better. It's going to a knife fight, and one guy has knives, guns, machetes, chains, right. you know, all kinds of, right. you have more weapons. Uh, 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 an MMA guy has way more weapons than a boxer has. Now, you let's let's be fair. Let's flip it the other way. Let's make it a pure boxing match. Right. The boxer wins the fight. You know, you get these guys at MMA who want to box these boxers. It shows complete disrespect mm. to the sport of boxing. Floyd Mayweather has been boxing since he was three years old, right. and he's whooped every uh, all the best boxers in the world for the last 20 years. This guy's gone undefeated 20 years in his game, and you think you're going to disrespect that, and no. But then on the flip side, the boxers, you know, don't like to hear that they, you know, you know Floyd. Right, right. Floyd don't want to hear he's going to get his ass whooped. Right. But Floyd's ass would get whooped. Ugly. <laughs> Man, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Give me five, brother. Hello. Always a pleasure. We, do, uh, we should have practiced on that. Yeah, we yeah, fucked that yeah, up. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Uh, I thought he knew the. Yeah, yeah I was, but, but usually it, it would have been give me five. I'd say give me five and a, a pound. So, yeah, Dana White, man, it is going down. Dana, give me five. All right. There All it right, is right there, there big boy TV, y'all. <laughs>